Hi folks, uh, Record Store Day is nearly on us again and um, so Record Store Day 2023, the main one, the first one, is the 22nd of April, so we're only a couple of months away and the lists have started to come out now, or have come out. Um, I've particularly looked at the UK list but I think it's pretty much the same for the world with a few little exceptions but um, I don't know all of what they, what they are at the moment. But um, so I've looked at that list and um, the thing which strikes me is that it seems to be a shorter list than previous years, but it's a lot more kind of focused. It feels like to me um, in previous years, I've normally picked up five records, four or five, six records, something like that. Um, and when I first looked at the list, I've kind of not seen that many that I really, really want. This time around, I mean, I could look at about 25 that I would like to have um i've narrowed a list down to about 15 still far too many so i need to get this list in the next couple of months down to about five and then try and get those of course so what i wanted to do is just have a quick run through the ones which interest me in particular um and a few other oddities which i just wanted which i just wanted to point out but um the first one to me which i'll be interested in is beach house and um they've got an ep coming out called called become and basically it's five songs from the once twice melody sessions and um it's songs which the band say didn't fit in the main album the otm album so f five songs which they consider the band called it scuzzy and spacious kind of songs so they sound interesting to me gonna come out on crystal clear vinyl only two thousand copies of them so 12 inch five songs ep 12 inch so that could be quite interesting um Probably won't go over this one, but the Black Keys live at the Beachland Tavern 2002 on orange vinyl. That's not been released uh, before on vinyl. I'll be interested in Black Rebel Most Cycle Club live at the Levitation. Um, 1,500 of these are going to be produced, but it's, it's, um, it's a beautiful looking thing. It's from a 2013 performance. It's a 12 inch, but also a 7 inch flexi. The actual vinyl, they're calling it milky clear vinyl with heavy blue and yellow splatter. And it looks absolutely beautiful. So probably going to have a look at that one. I won't be going for Black Sabbath, Never Say Die. I love the album. I love Sabbath. But um, it's going to be on light, transparent light blue splatter for the first time. Well, I've got the 10 Year War box set, which was splatter. So it's obviously going to be very, very similar to that. But you also get the 10 Year War brochure, which is really good, actually. So if I didn't have the box set, I'd probably go for that one. Um, one to point out, which again I won't be going for at this stage, is The Cure. They've um, got a live album called Show, two LPs from The Palace, Michigan, 1993. Um, remastered at Abbey Road, as I say, 3,000 of them. It's a double album, but it's all picture disc. So I don't know why you'd remaster for a picture disc. All I can think of is that later on it's going to come out on normal vinyl. Because that just seems a very peculiar thing to do, uh, remaster just to put on picture disc. But okay, but you know, it looks interesting. Another one I won't be going for um, is there's a um, David Bowie box set, five times five seven inch singles Decca box set. Um, it looks kind of you know quite interesting. They haven't put any kind of limit on how many the printing of this one, so. This could go on and on. But Laughing Gnome, London Boys, Lisa Jane, Love You To A Tuesday. I, the one big thing on there, I think, is never before released version of Space Oddity. So that, that could be really good. But it's singles from 64 to 67. But as I, say, I won't be going for that one this particular time. One which I'll definitely be going for, um, turn away now, Ben Rankins, is Alton John, Don't Shoot Me, Running The Piano Player, um, to follow on from Madman Across across the Water last year. It's the 50th anniversary of Don't Shoot Me. And it's going to come out as a two LP. Um, first album is going to be a remaster of the album, of the Don't Shoot Me album. But the second album looks really interesting because that's going to be all demos from the sessions. And it's um, it, it doesn't follow exactly the actual album track list. There are other songs as well, which... Obviously, was that Elton was playing about with it at the time, so that that's a must have for me, and that's going to come out on coloured vinyl. Um, won't be going for this, but it looks great. Envy of None, 
the Alex Lifeson the Rush um, album, which came out last year, it's going to come out as a picture disc. And I just really love, really love the cover of that album. So it looks a really good picture disc. That's only going to be 200. That's really, really low, that one. One for Kiss fans, Eric Carr, the um, fifth kisser. Um, that's going to come out. But that's, that's, that's kind of the fifth, fifth Kiss solo album. That's coming out as a double with um, demos as well. Um, lots of great ones. Um, I should definitely be going for Hugh Cornwall, ex-lead, ex-frontman of the Stranglers. His Moments of Madness, an album which came out last year, solo album, which I really love. It's going to come out as a 12-inch dub mix. And I, I really like the track Moments of Madness. So I'm interested in that. And the B-side, you're going to have um, a live version of Duchess and, and Black Hair, one of his solo tracks. So that's of interest to me. Um, <laughs> this one would become a must-have for me, but it's, it's a little bit irritating. When I first saw the list, one of my top 10 albums ever is Joe Strummer and the Mascalario Street Corps, which I've mentioned loads of times because I just think it's a wonderful album. That's coming out. And... Um, I thought, okay, they're going to have a different angle, so must get that. The only difference with it, it's going to come out on white coloured vinyl. Nothing else changes at all. It's not a remaster. It's nothing at all. It couldn't get any better. It's a wonderful album. They actually say it's out of print, but it's been out of print since the outset, but it hasn't. It has been reissued, actually. But that's coming out. There's only 1,750 of those. 1,760. But, um, yeah, it's Joe. It's... Different slightly, I'll be going for it. Um, I won't be going for this one. John Lennon's Give Me Some Truth, and I've got the um, box set and also the, the box set CDs and the, and the vinyl from Fresh Issue. But it's coming out as nine times 10 inch vinyls box set. So there's four tracks on each 10 inch. So there's 36 tracks. So basically, from what I understand it, all the tracks that are on Give Me Some Truth, effectively Lennon Greatest Hits, all the tracks that was on that uh, is coming out as nine times 10 inches. Only 300 of them are going to come out. And um, by the looks of it, the price in English pounds, £483.99. pence. I definitely won't be going for that one. Um, one which I will be looking at is Keith Richards, Vintage Vinos. Uh, Vinos um, coming out. I mean, this particular one um, has been out before, but it's really hard to get. Two LPs, but side four is an etching, so there's only three sides to it. Black and red vinyl. Um, basically, that is tracks from Talk Is Cheap, from Main Offender, and also from the Hollywood Bowl, from the Hollywood Palladium, the 1988 live concert. For, um, so, yeah, I think I think that could be a good one. But there's only 500, so that's obviously going to be quite hard to get hold of. Uh, Another one I'm quite interested in. It probably won't make my final list, if I'm honest, but Manson, um, Before the Grey Lantern, which is basically singles and B-sides, and it's basically the tr all the tracks, etc., which came out before Attack of the Grey Lantern, their debut album, which I think is really great. Um, yeah, I probably won't be going for that one, though. McCartney, Red Rose Speedway, 1993. That's going to come out as a half-speed mastering with an OB. It's the 50th anniversary of that one. Um, Pearl Jam, quite an interesting one. Two LP, Melbourne Live, nineteen ninety eight, and uh, seventeen tracks on vinyl for the first time. This is the Australian tour. This has come from the Australian tour, and it was it was actually to promote the album Yield, their third album. Um, so, playing words, so it was Yield, US release for the studio album, Give Way because it's Australia because it was on the Australian tour. Another one which is quite interesting me, Per Uber, Per Uber, Ray Gun Suitcase, um, for the first time on vinyl, 1995 album, only on CD before. That's going to come out on white vinyl. Pixies, another one quite interested in. Um, 10 inch, it's all demos, purple vinyl. It's basically, of the 17 songs that were, that were recorded for the Come On Pilgrim, the debut album from the Pixies, um, eight went on to the debut album. And nine of them, they've put on this demo album, this 10-inch demo. So I think that could be really interesting. I probably will go for that one. The Stones are reissuing Beggar's Bankrupt from 1968 there. The um, 
the vinyl grey, blue, black and white swirl, um, which is it's an ode to the lyric and uh, sort of the earth. Uh, it, this is the start of the Jimmy, Mir um, Jimmy Miller period, which is my favourite Stones period, actually. It's the original toilet cover for Beggar's Banquet, not the invitation. Also, poster with it. So, that could be interesting. One I'll definitely be interested in, um, Susie and the Benchies, A Kiss in the Dream House. Um, Susie's fifth album from 1982. That's going to be reissued. It's going to be remastered and cut at half speed, Abbey Road Studios, clear clear and gold vinyl there's 1500 of those they're going to issue Slade in the US um, they issued an album called Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply which in the UK and I've got a copy it was called The Amazing Kamikaze Syndrome so that's going to be issued as Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply in the UK for the, for the first time it was a different check it was a different track list that's coming out on Red Splatter it's a hideous cover, though, for this one, but uh, there's only a thousand of those ones. The Slits, um, they've got an album called Rough Cut, which is coming out, or Uncut, the demos, alternative mixes, and basically that's alternative mixes to their 1979 debut, Cut, by The Slits. Only 1,250 of those, so that could be quite interesting. Um... Craigie, Fleetwood Mac have got some release. Um, Sweet, T-Rex, Van Halen, UFO. Check them all out, folks. There's some really good releases this time. I'm going to be quite interested in... There's two Susie Quattro um, issues this particular Record Store Day. Um, one of them is from her... is a remaster from her second album. I've got a copy of that, so I probably won't go for that. But one which has never been on vinyl before is called Back to the Drive. And it's going to be two LPs... Blue and White Splatter. Um, I came out in 2006, and as I say, never been on vinyl before, so I should be quite interested in that one. Only a thousand of them. And, um, I mean, yes, it's a live album. Um, Wilco, Violent Femmes, um, Virgin Prunes, really good things. But one I should be interested in is um band called The Unloved, and their LP. I mean, basically, it's from the TV series called Killing Eve, which was absolutely huge in the uk and the music from it is is really tremendous it's very atmospheric and moody really superb and um this is the music from the four series which was shown on uk tv so that's coming out for the first time there's only 950 of those so it's going to be i think a really good record store day folks and um seems to be there's certainly a lot more this time which interests me and I'm going to have to narrow that down to five records or something because it would just be so expensive otherwise. But um, check it out yourself because there's there's something in there for everybody. There's, there's a lot of good stuff. Okay.